But this area was uh, stricken by poverty years ago. Now it's one of the most pristine golf courses in the world. It's a traditional golf course, Rich, um, straight up design. Everything's in front of you. And normally it's a par 72 for the members, but uh, by reducing five and ten, um, they become like whopping par fours for even the best in the game. Uh, par threes, too. Excellent test here at Eastlake. Getting set now for the second shot here at the par four first. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. See if he does it here. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. That's a nice confidence builder right there. You make those for par, and you keep things steady. Here at the par three second hole, just under 215 yards. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. These putts keep the round together. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. We talked about the good mix of holes to start here at East Lake. So coming off that par three second hole, now to the very short par four third, just the 390 yards. But really with all of the bunkers and the trees and this green, it's a tricky proposition. That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be what? 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. That will be a great look at birdie. Little redemption chance here had bogey yesterday. Seems to really have the touch today. Frank, what's the key here at the 440 yard par four fourth? The hole looks like it's a little dog leg left to right, Rich, but really you have to hit your tee shot down that right side. Just keep it inside the bunker line. That gives you a better angle into this green. It tilts back towards you. It might look like a circle, but uh, it doesn't play like a circle. That's an absolute beauty. Steeply up the hill here. This is going to play very long. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. You can't leave it short, Frank. Oh, and especially right in the middle. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. So has the par. Moving on to the next hole in the lead, Frank is very much intact. Back on the tee here at East Lake, fifth hole, 520 yard par four. Right where they were aiming in the fairway. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This is a good looking shot. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Settles in over the putt. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car.
Frank, it is really pretty simple here at the sixth. You need one good, clean strike of the golf ball. Yeah, and the ball's got to travel the right distance, land softly, and give yourself a six or an eight-foot putt. Um, that's the way it's drawn out. Chances of doing that are very, very small. Um, the reason why, just have another look at this tee shot. And if you can see as much water as I can, you're going to realize this is no pushover. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Good putt. All right, Frank, we've made it through the sixth unscathed. Here we are at the seventh hole, East Lake Golf Club in Atlanta for the Tour Championship. And it's a slight dog leg left, 434 yards. It's the first hole that actually bends to the left, so you would think it would suit a draw. But those three bunkers down the left side almost prevent that. And really, the best access to this green is from the right side anyway. All right, Frank, break down the approach here at the par 4 seventh. High soft landing approach shot is, uh, is, is the one. Uh, when the flag's on the left, have to take enough club to carry that left edge of that bunker. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Continues to roll the ball very well. Frank, back-to-back, -back, dog legs to the left as we step on the tee here at the eighth. This one, a little different to the seventh hole. This one's fairly flat, and uh, also that fairway runs out on the right side. Um, you can try and flash it across all the bunkers. There's no real advantage. You have to respect those bunkers. Um, should just leave you a, a sand iron, a wedge maximum in here. This is a good scoring opportunity, providing you hit the fairway. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. So eight holes down, we come to the ninth tee, and at last a par five. It's only 600 yards with a little water. No problem, right? Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. Beautiful rhythmic swing right there and right down Peachtree. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Appears to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. That was just a gutsy shot right there, and a good look at Eagle coming up. Some snap, though. What a tremendous display of golf this has been. Just a superb performance on the front side. He's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier when you're swinging well, putts are going in. Really, you've just got to keep out of your own way. Great strike and a great result. Setting up, good chance to attack the flag. So this is where club selection becomes much more important. Uphill, make sure you have enough stick and then swing away. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. Shouldn't be a problem here. Oh. 
just singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. Clean this up with a tap. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Moving on now to the 11th and another par 3. Frank, this one just under 200 yards. Does play a little bit uphill, and uh, really it's like a V-shaped green. Uh, those two front bunkers really pitch the front of that green in. Hold actually gets a little easier the further the, the flag goes up the green. It's a little wider, and the chances of having an uphill putt increase. That is an excellent play right there. The approach giving him another good look. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Frank, one thing I really like about Eastlake Golf Club, the variety of holes. You know, you have some good par threes, we've seen that, just a couple of par fives. But then you have this collection of really fascinating short par fours, including here at the 391-yard 12th. It just goes to show in today's game, you don't always have to reach for a 500-yard par four. The 12th, even though it's under 400 yards, is, uh, is quite deceiving. There's a, a lone fairway bunker on the right that has to be avoided. And then judging the lie, if you're on a downhill lie, pitching into a green that's also below you, um, that front bunker might look a long way short of the green, but uh, it's caught a few errant second shots. Wow, he got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Good effort, good par putt. Now down on the tee here at the 13th. This one stretched out just a little bit more, 476 yards and a par four. And now you're playing straight up the hill away from East Lake, so you can tack another 30 or 40 yards onto this hole. Two bunkers down the left. There's only a player or two in the field that could actually fly that second one. So it will play as a dog leg left. And also that second shot, you're gonna have to add at least another club or two. Um, for that uphill going into this green. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's full melody now. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Old oaks and tall pines make this straightaway par for a really tight and demanding driving hole. Longer tee shots could leave a difficult side hill stance along the right side of the fairway. That two-tiered green is bunkered on both sides with the green sloping again from back to front. Players placing their ball below the hole will have chances for birdie. Nice long tee shot there and a good lie, Frank. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That will be a great look at birdie. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. Cleans that up in the hole. All teed up at the 15th, the final par five of the course, sitting at just 525 yards. But that is a heat seeking missile. Look out, 325 yards and in the fairway. This one has a chance to be close. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Moving on to number 16 now, 481 yard par four. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time.
Frank, that one is long, and it is straight. Well, in baseball, that's a home run. In golf, that is a huge advantage over everybody else that plays the game. You imagine just teeing up on every hole knowing that you've got 20 or plus yards over your fellow competitors. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. And that is one to save it for the rest of the round. Drops it in for birdie. Just two holes left here at East Lake. Frank, we have another par four set at 455 yards. Excellent drive, Frank, right where you want to be. So much riding right now in this shot. You can just feel the tension. Approach shot now to the 17th. That should be pretty good right there. And on the safe side. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Onto the finishing hole here at East Lake Golf Club. Not many courses end with a par three. It's always a fun finishing hole. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. And he'll do it again today. Really solid strike. Just a fantastic week of golf. Add that one to the win count. A lot of uh, great quality players out there, and to come on top of that leaderboard is truly a great accomplishment.